Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, I am super, super, super pumped on this beer. Um, it's from Hill Farmstead. Uh, Hill Farmstead is uh, Greensboro Bend, Vermont. Um, it's been a while since I reviewed a Hill Farmstead beer. I bet you four or five years. Um, so this is, <laughs> this sounds fucking amazing. Um, this is self-reliance and it says Motuika. And per this bottle, which by the way, I have not had a hoppy beer out of a 750 milliliter bottle in a long, long time. Um, I actually kind of forgot about this format of um, packaging. Um, this is a Farmstead India Pale Ale brewed and dry hopped solely with Motuika and conditioned in oak barrels. Um, so this is basically a barrel aged IPA, which is crazy. Um, and it's from the 2019 hop harvest. It was bottled on November 6th of 2019. So um, and this beer comes courtesy of my man, Jeff. I appreciate you, sir. Um, Jeff and I used to trade beers back in the day. Um, some of my first uh, like Lawson's and um, it was Lawson's reviews. I think there might've been some Hell Farmstead beers that he sent. Um, some of my first um, Alchemist reviews came from him and I kind of lost touch with him and then we got back in touch recently and he sent some rad beers to check out so um, yeah this just it sounds amazing I've only had a barrel aged IPA um, once or twice and they were damn <laughs> that's crazy um, and they were from Stone and I remember Stone did them like back in 2016 ish 2015 so it's been a while since I've had one. Um, and it was kind of like when I was really getting hardcore into IPA and I remember having it and I just, I couldn't figure it out. So um, it wasn't my favorite, but I, I, I'm thinking these days with, you know, as much as I've drank over the last five or six years, like I hopefully have developed a palate that I can actually try and like appreciate what this is. It sounds amazing. Hill Farmstead makes ridiculous beer. Um, we're gonna use our Hill Farmstead. Like this is one of the coolest glasses I've ever seen. It's like crystal, it's a, like a goblet kind of a thing and it's got the little Hill Farmstead um, logo like etched into it, it's fucking awesome. So, you guys know beer tastes better out of proper glassware. This already looks just crazy. <laughs> I'm so excited for this beer review. That, I mean, look at the, I hope the color can kind of come through um, on camera of this. This looks like absolutely freaking beautiful. It looks like lemonade in the glass with a solid almost two fingers of just fluffy bright white head. Um, it is hazy, it looks like, it does, it looks like lemonade orange juice, peach juice, pineapple juice. It looks, it's just, it's glowing from back here. So, looks amazing that proper glassware, like look at that. We're so proper these days. Motuika hops are fun. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this one. Wow, so th this smells funky. Let's see something really quick. I've seen if they were showing or showing if they were saying if it, if this had any kind of like bread or lacto or something in it. Um, this does. This smells, and you can see like how effervescent it is, and like that pop when we opened it. It reminds me like like immediately of smelling like something with bread in it, like a funky kind of farmhouse beer. It says Farmstead IPA. I don't know what that means, what they're saying, but. This has this rad, like, it's not sour, but it's like this, like this cool zingy kind of bright lemon lime zest. And it does, it kind of has like this funkiness to it, like this Brett funk. But underneath that, it's like super woody, oaky, um, and you're getting like this cool tropical fruit. It's like a mixture of tropical fruits and citrus, like super like overripe oranges. But yeah, I just can't get past how awesome like that funk. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's the barrel that's giving me that. If it's like that kind of like barrel aged beers can get off, can give off like that dry kind of oaky woody thing. Maybe it's that. It almost has like that funky kind of hay thing. It does. It just smells soft. It smells fucking awesome. Did we talk about the ABV? I don't think it says the ABV on here. Um, it sucks too because Jeff sent me. I don't have it. He sent me a card that showed the ABV. I think this is around 8%, somewhere around there. But you don't smell booze. It just smells like this rad, funky, earthy, 
like lemon limey tropical fruity stone fruity citrus like oaky awesomeness <laughs> it smells killer it's tasted jeff cheers thanks bro That is so soft and creamy. Wow. And it does, it gives off like this little tart, funky thing. The, oh man, that is so good. There's so much that you taste in that. So we were smelling like this bready kind of funky thing and you get that. Right at the front of your tongue, it offers like a little bit of like bready sour not sour because you think sour like it's puckering sour it's not puckering sour but just like this little sourness um, almost like you you bite into like a lemon to peel it um, and then as it goes across your tongue it's like overripe oranges there's tropical fruit like stone fruit um, almost like you're drinking kind of like a stone fruit sour um, and then middle of your tongue it just gets like super dry oaky woody and then it just finishes like bright, like bursts of citrus, more of that lemon lime. And then like that cool, there's almost like a vanilla thing too from like that oaky woody thing that you're tasting. This is crazy. This beer is <laughs> really, really good. Like as it's warmed a little bit, like even just talking, it does, it gives off like this cool, like pop of vanilla. It's just like the carbonation is spot on. It just goes across your palate it's tingly it kind of like when you get that kind of funky little bit of sourness on the front of your tongue it just kind of starts to like clean it off and then it just follows with this waves of like i said citrus fruits bright tropical fruits orange and then like this cool it is it like finishes with this rad like vanilla oaky woody thing this is really really good um super easy drinking for i like i said i think this is between seven and a half and eight percent um it just, it flies off your palate, finishes super, super dry. Um, it's, it's fantastic. This is a world-class beer. I mean, I don't know how many people have had this beer. I want to know what a farmstead India Pale Ale is. Because <laughs> I feel like there's something that's giving it funk, and I love it. I fucking love it. Um, but yeah, I just, it would be awesome if people watch this have had this beer because um, I don't know what it was like when it was put in the bottle um, last November, but as of July of 2020, it's absolute fire. This is fucking awesome because um, it doesn't go crazy over the top hoppy like an IPA and it doesn't get crazy, funky, sour, intense like a farmhouse beer does. It's like a rad blend of both. It's fantastic. It's a joy to drink. So um, it's world class. <laughs> this is one of my favorite beers I've had this year. It's just so complex. There's so much going on with it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So Jeff, I appreciate you sending this bro. Um, if you guys have had this beer, let's talk about it. This is fantastic. Um, he sent me a couple other cans of Hill Farm set hops. I think I reviewed one of them like five years ago. So I'm looking forward to checking it out again. But, um, like I said, if you guys have had this beer, what the heck was the name of it again? Self-Reliance Motuika and that label art's fire. The bottle's cool. All everything's cool about this. I love it. This review might be on the long side. I apologize for that, but I just, I love this beer so much. I could talk about it all night long. Just going to sit with it and enjoy it. So, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.